Uh, in this video, I will go through um, how to uh, modify the geometry to simulate a tracheotomy. For this procedure, we'll need to figure out how to split the, the middle ring. We'll just split this ring into three equal parts. So, you know, three arcs of uh, 108, or sorry, 100 degrees, because the total thing is 300 degrees. And then we can uh, rename those parts so that when we go back to the mechanical measure and all that stuff, uh, we can uh, identify clearly which part is which. So we'll start by creating a plane. So we'll go up here and click on plane. Click on the Y axis to create an XZ plane. And we'll come up here and click on move and select the plane. Because uh, we want this to be at the point where we, the, uh, we'll be splitting the ring. And so if you do a little trigonometry, you can figure out that in order to get the 100 degree arc, we need to move it up to 6.4 meters. Um, and now if we look at from the Z axis, I'll click on select just to click off this. We can see how it's going to split, and this arc is about 100 degrees. Well, it's actually 100 degrees, uh, say for rounding errors. So that that all makes sense. So I'll go back to the trimetric view. We'll click split body, and select this fourth ring, and then we'll just click on this plane and use that as a cutter. And we'll see now that uh, this ri this ring has been split into three pieces. So I'll hide the plane for now, as we don't need that anymore. And then I'll click on this piece, and we can see, if I close this out, we'll see up here, I'll click this, and the, the top of the three patterns gets highlighted when I hover over this. So I'll select, see it'll be highlighted. And so I'll just come down here and go to the uh, one, two, three, fourth ring, and we'll see this one is different because if I look at this one, this is the third ring, it's all one piece, but this one is obviously different because it's in three pieces now. Select off so it doesn't look weird. And so now this part, it's left with the name ring, but this is part. This is the part we want to replace the tissue later. So I'm going to call this uh, tissue cut. And then these parts are still going to be cartilage, so I'm just going to call them ring. I'm going to call them both ring. So there's no, uh, answers will let me call them both ring. I didn't do it right the first time. I can't spell the word ring. And then we can go back into uh, the mechanical and our, and our setup and our solution and all that stuff is all the same. And that's all.